also to to kind of you know go a little deeper into these aspects of you know mindfulness uh, manifestation affirmation meditation you know what do these terms really mean uh, how do people how can people make best use of these tools that are being governed through Absolutely. situations right yes. so so if you were to you know start with say maybe initially mindfulness mm. right uh, and you know just to kind of explain to even people and larger general public as to what does being mindful really mean uh, and and how does one make those little shifts uh, you know on a day to day basis to be mindful more and more you know of the time than not being mindful uh, we've always that? used the word mindful but we use the word mindful saying be mindful of what you're saying be mindful of what you're doing so which means just take care that what you're speaking or what you're doing is right don't make a mistake so what is needed at the right time in the right way the appropriate behavior the appropriate words so we always taught be mindful you're going there they are going to be there you be mindful what you're going to say to them be but we had not thought that be mindful of what you're thinking mm -hmm. so we were mindful of what we were speaking behaving doing living mindfulness is about be mindful about what you're thinking mm -hmm. so that take care that here you're not creating anything which is not right for you because it is this which will come out in words and behavior so we were taught to take care of words and behavior but it will not always work because it's starting here so this is the first energy i create i cannot say anything unless i've thought of it i cannot there cannot be a word which i have not first created here but it's just because we were never checking here so we were not aware and we said no it just slipped out of my tongue i do not have that intention i never but it's not true it's not possible this is an outlet of an energy that we have created what i do is an outlet of what i have thought but we were not taught there so we were taught here and there so mindfulness only means that that now take care of what you are thinking and if i take care of what i'm thinking i don't need to take care of what i'm speaking how i'm behaving because if i've not created a wrong thought I will never have a wrong word. But most people will tell you thoughts just come to me. Just come right? to me. They are not in yeah. my control. Right. And, and when know, we say come to me, hmm. we are not even saying come to me. We are saying come to me. So you know that thought just came to me as if it's coming from somewhere outside and it's coming and hitting me here. Again, because we're living, believing that the thought is created because of the situation that I am in. If I had to ask anyone who is the creator of your thoughts, they'll immediately say I. But how does the vocabulary go? I'm irritated because of the finger is outside. I'm upset because so and so did this. I'm happy because such and such thing happened today. So I am reaffirming that everything that's getting created here, whether it's stress, whether it's irritation, whether it's anger, whether it's love, whether it's happiness, whether it's worry, whether it's jealousy, whatever I'm creating here, I'm saying it's because of something outside. this itself was fundamentally wrong because then i thought that my thoughts are just dependent on the outer world this is called emotional dependence mm. and when i become emotional dependent that means power will now start reducing because now here will only be dependent on what's going on here so there are two worlds outside world and the inner world the inner world is intentions so not just my thoughts my intent Mm. so i create a thought of meeting you what is my intent behind meeting you is it to share is it to give is it to get mm. what is my intent so it's not just a thought that i'm meeting you what is my intent so intent is the most powerful karma so that's why we were taught that your bhav and bhavna behind the karma is more important than the actual karma so mm. that is the intent so my inner world is about my consciousness who do i believe i am then my intent then my thoughts and emotions feelings and then it comes out into words and behavior 